Welcome to Hacking with Python 11. What is web scraping? In this video we'll be looking at what web scraping is, the kind of things you need to know, and what frameworks can make our lives easier. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Ok, so what is web scraping? Web scraping is the technique of extracting information from websites. You can think of it as scraping the information you want off a web page, like you would scrape food off a shared plate of food. Usually this is done through use of simulating human interaction with low level HTML processing, or through high level web browser automation, just like we did in our LinkedIn viewbot we made last tutorial. Ok, how do we actually go about scraping? It's important to understand that websites are not as complex as they appear in our web browsers. They are in essence just text formatted in such a way that our web browsers know how to make them look pretty. So when we go to a web page on the internet, our web browser makes a GET request to that server. We can also make GET requests to websites just like our browser in code, and the web server will sometimes gladly send back the HTML text file. Inside that HTML text file, we can start to grab data, image links to download, or grab more links to send GET requests to. We repeat this process until we have grabbed all the information we want. Now, why should we scrape? Scraping is very useful for many different applications. From nifty web apps showing data on important or sometimes just entertaining topics, all the way to research for doctoral research papers. Because of this, scraping is much faster than manual data collection by hand, which can sometimes be tedious and very slow. The big data interest industry is booming right now, and many companies want data on their, com on their competitors as well as themselves. Being able to write scraping bots to automate this collection is crucial. Scraping can also be useful for grabbing headlines or top posts on websites you visit every day. That way you can quickly get your browsing over and done with as sooner, sooner rather than later. You may even want to hold on to all of that information. You only have to look at one of the most impressive and scary websites called archive.org that stores a snapshot of almost every publicly available website on the internet, all done through scraping. Ok, when getting into scraping, you'll find it incredibly useful to have an understanding of HTML and CSS, as ultimately you are interacting with raw HTML web pages. Knowing what tags to look for, what attributes to access, are all critical to efficiently creating scraping bots. Having an understanding of XPath, which is an expression based method for navigating XML formatted documents, HTML happens to be formatted in such a way, and finally being familiar with regular expressions will make your life much easier when matching patterns in websites. Ok, now let's have a look at two different very powerful uh, scraping frameworks. First we have Scrappy. Scrappy is an open source low level web scraping framework written in pure Python. It's relatively lightweight and still packed with abundance of features. The good thing about Scrappy is that when coding a Scrappy project, you only need to import and use the features you want to use for that bot. Scrappy also does as much of the dirty work as possible in the background. We'll be using Scrappy in the next tutorial and you'll get to see this in action. And now Selenium. Selenium is what we used in the last tutorial for creating our LinkedIn bot. Selenium is a higher level library that creates and automates an instance of a full fledged web browser like Firefox or Chrome. The library has been around for some time now and has bindings for many different programming languages. The best benefits of using Selenium is that it's easy to learn and handles websites that use JavaScript and Node.js. However, the big downside is that it can be very very slow compared with a low level HTML scraper like Scrappy. This concludes our look at what web scraping is. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. The next topic we'll be looking at is writing a bot to scrape the posts off Imiga.com's front page. Thanks for watching.